This is What Is God Saying in 2020? And I'm your host, Jennifer LeClaire. You know, I have gathered together a collective of prophetic voices from different nations in the earth. Some of these people you're quite familiar with. Some of them, they're emerging prophets or they're new voices to you. But each one has something significant to say. You're going to hear a lot of things that inspire you. You may hear a few things that challenge you. But over the course of this series, you're going to walk away fully equipped and armed, understanding the will of the the Lord in many areas for 2020 and beyond. God is good and he's speaking to his people. The Bible says God does nothing without revealing it first to his servants, the prophets. So as you watch each one of these episodes, pray the prayers that the prophets are praying over you. Come into agreement with the words that bear witness to your heart. Re watch them over and over again. Study some of these things. Write them down. Prophesy them. War with them. Concentrate. Meditate. Confess these prophetic words that resonate with your heart. There's a lot to digest here, and I'm so glad that you've chosen to join us for this special series, What Is God Saying in 2020? Now, let's get into the Word. Blessing, this is Dr. Hakeem Collins here, and I am excited about the Word of the Lord that is in the mouth of the prophets and prophetic voices in this season. There is a word from God that I want to share with you that the Lord has been speaking to me concerning the year 2020, the new year and season that we're coming into. Listen, it is not just a year, but the Lord spoke to me and said, it is a decade, a beginning of a new decade. It is a new era. And with that being said, we're going to begin to see a lot of things begin to transpire in the beginning of this decade and at the start and at the head of the year. We are at the head start. Hear me and hear me very clearly. We are at the head start. And what you do at the end of the year will predicate the rest of the year. What you do in the beginning and end of a year is what will set the president for the rest of that year. And so let me be clear. If you sow sparingly in the beginning and at the end of a specific year, then do not look for something to manifest such as a harvest when you have sown sparingly. This is a season to be very, very intentional in this new season, in this new year, and which God is saying, this is a new beginning. This is a new start. The Spirit of the Lord began to speak to me out of 2 Chronicles 20, 20. And it's not by happenstance or coincidence that he highlighted that passage of scripture. One of the things in that passage of scripture that is very enlightening is that the Bible says, love the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Right after that, it says, believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. In other translation, it says, so shall you be successful. And so God began to speak to me that as we are loving the Lord and we are in fellowship with the Lord, that we are automatically as believers, we are established. But there's something right after that is that he says, believe his prophets, so shall you prosper or be successful. And so what the Lord is saying for this new beginning, this new decade, this new year, 2020, and then we go and do our history concerning the Hebraic and Gregorian calendar, we have just left and transitioned out of a decade called Ayin, A-Y-I-N, which means to see, means to perceive, insight. It also gives us understanding of revelation. And so as we were coming out of a decade of a yen in the Gregorian calendar, the Hebraic season, listen, out of that 5770 to 5779, and we just now hit 5770, uh, excuse me, 5780, we're coming into now is the season and the era and the beginning and the decade of the mouth. 
And so the Lord spoke to me and said that this is a new beginning and year of the mouth. But he said it very clearly and specifically, this is the year of the Lord's decree. Hear me. This is the year prophetically of the Lord's decree. And so you say, well, what does, does this have to do with Second Chronicles 2020? It has to do with a lot with Second Chronicles 2020, because if you love the Lord your God, so shall you be established, believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. And we're coming now in a decade where the Lord says it is what it is what he decrees out of the mouth of the prophets, what is released and declared, what is spoken out of the mouth of prophetic voices that are valid, that are authentic, that are pure, that are holy. Whatever is released prophetically in this new season and time and this new year and decade will begin to release and cause you to come into the manifestation of what God has spoken. This is a decade of the Lord's decree, what is spoken out of the mouth. The Bible says that it's not what goes in the mouth that defiles a man, but what comes out. And so this is a season where we have to make sure that it is the will and the word of the Lord that has been released out of our mouths in this next season. It is going to be what we declare, which is the will of the Lord for your life. We are coming into this new beginning and this new decade and year 2020 of prophetic fulfillment. As you come into agreement with the word of the Lord, as you come into agreement and fellowship, what God has spoken, you will begin to see this new season open up very wide for you. It will open up wide like a mouth. And there's something that God began to speak to me. He says that as we come into agreement to what he has spoken, then you already are being established because you have relationship with God. He is speaking to you. And then here comes the prophetic word that is now coming to set and to navigate and also to set the course of your destiny and purpose. A reset of the prophetic movement is upon us. The second wave of prophets is rising in this hour. We stand at the edge of a new era in the prophetic. We're gathering the international prophetic community at the Global Prophetic Center, a hub for prophetic training, prophetic labs, summits, networks, and lighthouses. It's time for prophets to go deeper. It's time for seers to soar. It's time for prophetic voices to rise up and decree what says the Spirit of God with accuracy that causes the world to pay attention. The Global Prophetic Center offers proven prophetic systems and structures to equip you to walk worthy of your calling and to prophesy with precision, boldness, diplomacy, and wisdom. Get hands-on training and mentoring in a safe environment that breeds true prophetic community and learning. Receive impartation and activation. Sharpen your gift and avoid prophetic pitfalls. Get commissioned. Get networked. Get sent out with the word of the Lord in your mouth and the confidence to release it. Begin your journey today by applying at globalpropheticcenter.com. God said that 2020 will be the year, and again, the beginning of a decade of prophetic fulfillment. Whatever God has spoken to you, whatever God has declared to you, whatever that dream, that vision, that burden that comes from the Lord, and it has been established. How is it established? It only is established based off of two or three witnesses. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1, it says, in the mouth of two or three witness, let every word be established. There's that word established again. And it only has to be established when there are two or three witnesses or there's two or three testimonies that are declaring the same thing. And so God is saying that we are now hitting this new season and era and time where we're about to come into a suddenly moment where the suddenlies of God and there is going to be an acceleration and exponential manifestation 
manifestation of what God has spoken to you and what his will for your life will be. Many of you that are listening right now, uh, God has been declaring over you for this past decade, 5770 to 5779, 57. 80 now has come now a new season and it's, it's a time of reset. It's a time where God is now bringing you to the fullness. You're, you're coming into your due season. You're coming into the time of birthing. You're coming into a time where God is opening wide. He is causing things to open up. The heavens are about to open up. And please hear me and hear me clear. This is not the season to revert. This is not the season to draw back. This is not the season to doubt. This is the season to move full speed ahead because you're coming into a time sensitive moment and year, but also decade because what God has said will come to manifestation. You're about to come into your prophetic fulfillment. You were a word spoken into existence. Out of the mouth of God came you. You were a prophecy fulfilled. When God said, let there be light, light responded, came out of a darkness and manifested, showed himself or itself. And so when God had brought you into existence, you were in the mind of God. You were in the boardroom of heaven where God now spoke you into existence and shoot you down into the universe in an eternity's past and brought you into your present so that you can be one that would change the world, change your generation. And, and so I believe in this season we're coming into that this is a prophetic moment. It is a time of prophetic fulfillment. And so the Lord says that as you are established in your relationship with you, some of you got to make sure your relationship with God is intact, that you have to make sure that you are in right standing with the Lord at this moment because you're at a critical time sensitive moment. If you are having alts and bitterness and unforgiveness in your heart concerning people. This is the time to make it right. This is the time to reconcile. Go to your brother and, re and reconcile with them. Go to your brother and if you offended them or vice versa, make sure that you make it right and there is forgiveness in your heart because it will block your breakthrough. I hear the Lord saying that 2020 we have already come into it. We already are in our new year, but now we're seeing now God is bringing things to pass and it's going to happen at rapid speed. Hear me. What God is about to do, it is about to happen rapid speed. I feel the anointing on this word. Hear me. That's why your readiness and your preparation and what you had endured, what you had encountered, the things that you have experienced in the last 10 years, the last decade, every persecution, every slander, every a hit that you have experienced, whether it was a bad diagnosis, the many loss that you may have uh, happened in your life, the things that you may experience that was suddenly or any, any abrupt hit that you've experienced. You know what it is or what you have encountered in the last 10 years. And because you endured and because you were faithful over few things, God is about to and is making you ruler over much. This will be also the year 2020 will be the year of distinction. This will be the year of distinction. This will be the year of separation. This will be the year of difference. In other words, what makes you different? We will begin to see a separation of the wheat and the tear. We will begin to see the separation and the distinction of the goat and the sheep, those who are believers and non-believers. We're going to begin to see that because, you know, the Bible talks about that the wheat and the tear grows together. They may look similar. We have the goat and the sheep. And so they may grow together. We see in the kingdom of God, there is a parallel. In other words, there is, they're operating simultaneously. And so we have the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. And so we're going to see the distinction in this new year, in this new decade. And so the distinction will be the glory of the Lord that will be upon those who are his. It will be the distinction and the power and the grace and the favor that we're about to experience in see why because we will know who is of his and who is not we will begin to see who 
is the sheep and who is the goat. We're going to begin to see who is the wheat and who is the tear. There is going to be a distinction. There is going to be also in 2020, in this new era, and in this new season, and I'm going to say this very prophetically, we're going to see new era prophets. We're going to see new era apostles. We're going to see new era five-fold ministry. These are a, a new era dispensation, if I can say or use that word. This is a new time. We're going to see something very different, something very unique, something very unprecedented. You're coming into one of the greatest seasons that I believe of awakening. We're going to see mass deliverance. And one of the things that God began to speak to me is we're going to begin to see, you will see it in this next year, 2020. It's going to be beginning. It's going to be the new initiative that's going to be a, a mass healing, mass deliverance, mass salvation. There's going to be this harvest of souls. You're going to hear more about harvesting. You're going to hear more about the, uh, the glory of the knowledge of the Lord that fills the earth. You're going to begin to see it manifest because there's going to be a distinction. There's going to be a distinction in the seven spheres of society or the seven mountain sphere of influence. Listen, this is a time of an outpouring of his spirit. There's an outpouring of his prophetic spirit upon all flesh and that your sons and daughters will prophesy. We will begin to see dreams and visions like never before. We're going to have so much encounters because why? The last decade was the decade of Ayin, A-Y-I-N, Ayin, to see. And so God was increasing our discernment to see and to discern and to perceive and to distinguish and to decipher what is his and what is not. Truth and error, false prophets and authentic prophets, you know, false doctrine and the, the truth of God's word, we're going to begin to see in this new year and beginning of this new decade, we're going to begin to see what you have saw, what you see, you will begin to see it manifest. Hear me prophetically. The Lord is saying that this new season and year will be a time of fulfillment of what has been spoken out of the mouth of his prophets, out of the mouth of his prophetic voices, out of the mouth of those who carry the spirit of truth on the inside of them. He is going to break the, the this self-deception. He's going to break and expose error in the body of Christ. He's going to expose corruption that is in different governmental systems or positions of government and politics, he is going to expose. He is going to bring things to the head. We are at the head start, at the head start, at the head of the year. And I'm telling you, God is about to bring your promise to pass. Your breakthrough is here. It's not coming tomorrow. It is already here. But now you have to now perceive it and discern it and see it. What God is basically saying, and he's reminding me of the scripture concerning the prophet who put his head between his knees and began to pray. And the Bible says as he was praying, he heard something. He heard the sound of abundance of rain. And he wanted to confirm what he heard in prayer. He had his face between his knees and there was something he heard in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is saying in this new year, what you've been praying for the last 10 years, years, what you've been anticipating, your breakthrough, what you've been waiting on, what you've been patient about, what you've been fasting about, what you've been, there have been some long suffering. Your, your gifts has been really uh, capped because you really didn't really find a place where you can really release and be used of the Lord. And some things that you've been waiting on, you felt like God has missed you or you missed God. But no, the Lord is saying that this is the year and the decade and the time of prophetic fulfillment. You're about to see what you've been praying for come to pass. And so the prophet sent his servant up to verify what he heard in the realm of the spirit. He did not see rain coming, but he heard abundance of rain. And I come to prophesy and declare to you, as the Lord spoke to me, that 2020 will be the year and decade again of a new season and era that will bring you to your fulfillment, to bring you to that which God has spoken, to bring you 
to that what has been your portion, your purpose, your destiny. And so he sent them up one and two and three. And he, and like he went up the sixth time. He didn't see anything. And some of you have been pressing in. You've been waiting. You've been waiting many years and you have, you didn't see anything, but now you're coming into a place where the man of God, the servant saw what Elisha heard in prayer. Get ready because what you've been praying for is looking for you. What you've been looking for is looking for you. Get ready to see the manifestation of what you've been waiting on. You've been anticipating your breakthrough. And I come to declare that 2020 is the year, but also the decade. It's not just one year and then everything is done. No, it's going to be a perpetual time, a perpetual season. Hear me, a new era. We are in a new era in time right now. Hear me. This is a season that no doctor's report, no doctor diagnosis, no bad credit, no thing will stop you. Why? Because God's word is on it. It would take one word from God for you to receive your breakthrough. And I come to declare prophetically and to decree the Lord's decree. It, it will be the year and the time and the decade of the Lord's decree. What he has spoken will manifest. The verdict of the Lord is final for you in this season. It is on your behalf. Those who have ascended to the courts of heaven, who have waited on God to be uh, God in their life, you're about to experience and live in and under an open heaven. It will be a time of breakthrough. It Listen, the vows of heaven has been opened now. You're about to experience one of the greatest seasons start of your life. God is healing and delivering and he is bringing breakthrough. And so hear me, as you believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. The Lord says that 2020 will be the year and the decade where we're going to see tremendous wealth transfer. And I know we have heard this over and over and over. We have heard prophetic words of transition. We have heard prophetic words about breakthrough after breakthrough. And it's almost seemed like it's a tagline or it's a theme or so forth. And it's like, Lord, where and what and how this is going to happen. But the Lord says, hear my prophets. Prophets, believe my prophets. That's the first thing we have to understand. Are we listening to the voices of valid, prophetic, authentic voices? Not only that, but we have to make sure that we are in right relationship with God and that we are in fellowship with the Lord. We are in what is the Greek word koinia. We have to make sure that we are in fellowship with with the Lord. We want God's gifts. We want God's provision. We want God's blessings. We want the breakthrough. We want the increase. We want the promotion. We, all, we want all of those things, but there is a sacrifice. And I believe that God is also in 2020 and in this new decade, he's going to expose some of the dark areas of our hearts. So we have to make sure that we are in right alignment and right agreement and that there is no sin. There is no hidden sin. There is no things that that will set or disqualify or forfeit the blessing of the Lord. Now, God is not coming to judge you. He is not coming to bring his wrath upon you because you make a mistake or you sin. That's not the word of the Lord. But the word of the Lord is that if you're not in right relationship and you're not found in fellowship with him, then there will be a verdict and a justice. The justice of God will be released upon those who are his but has fallen away or have reared off. He chastens those he loves. And so this is the time to get it right. This is the time to make it right. This is the time and season to not miss what God desires for you to receive in this season, prophetically, hear the word of the Lord that as you believe his prophets, you will begin to see a wealth transfer. There will be divine resources that will be released in your life. There will be divine uh, grace and manpower and things that you've been praying for, things specifically that you've been waiting on, things that you've been waiting on God to fulfill in your life. And you're like, Lord, what is going on? I'm waiting and it's not happening. It is only going to be the Lord's decree. In other words, it's going to be the Lord's will and his word over your life. And so how do we come into agreement? How we come into alignment? 
Number one is that we have to make sure that we are in right standing with God. Number two, we have to make sure that we believe everything that the Lord has spoken, that the Lord has said, that the Lord has declared over us. And you say, well, what is decree? Well, decree is very simple. Decree, according to Job, and we know it in the in the chapter, in Job chapter 22, verse 28, it says, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. It shall be, it shall make a way or path for you. Hear me. Your decree is very, very simple. It is your decisions. It is your decisions. If you decide on a thing, it will be. So your decrees will have to line up to the will and the word of the Lord. That's why I said 2020 is the year of the Lord's decree. What did the Lord say to you concerning you and your destiny and your purpose? Do not allow people to speak for you. Do not allow people to think for you. This will be the season, hear me, and hear me clearly prophetically, is you have to fully embrace and accept the call of God, what he has placed on your life, the assignment, the mandate, the vision, the burden of the Lord for you. And when you align yourself with God and his will and his word for you, which is his decree, because God has a decision for you as well. God has a word for you as well. And he has his will already in you. When he created you, he created you with purpose, destiny, charisma, personality, your whole makeup, your whole genetics, your DNA, everything about you that make you you, that make you uniquely yourself. He has made you and he put you in a time and in a generation that has need of what you have so that you can contribute to advancing his kingdom and to fulfilling his purpose. But number one, to bring him glory. You will bring him glory when you move into that what he had called you to move into and to manifest his glory in his presence like never before. So the Lord's decree will be what has been spoken out of your mouth. For the Bible says that if you decree a thing, it shall be established. Again, as you speak what the Lord is saying, not only saying, but as you obey what God has spoken, you will see an acceleration and you will begin to see the suddenness of God like you have never known before. Things are going to happen at rapid speed. The Lord says that 2020 will be also a year and decade. It will be a time which is called, and it's a new Gregorian time called pay. P-E-Y, P-E-Y, and it sounds like pay, pay, like someone's paying you, pay, P-A-Y, but it's P-E-Y or P-E-H, and so what God is saying, this will be the year of the mouth, and so it will be, as we transition out of the year of the see, again, to see, to watch, to perceive, to discern, now we're coming into the year and decade, really more so the decade, pay, P-E-Y, of the mouth, what has been spoken. So this is the season that we're going to see what has been spoken. Hear me, my God. We are in the time of what God has spoken, the Lord's decree, God's decision concerning you. You're coming into now the beginnings the head start of a year of things happen at rapid time and rapid speed. And angels, the Bible says, hearken unto the voice of the Lord. They only respond to the voice of the Lord. They respond to the decree of the Lord. And so you're going to begin to see very uh, just activities, unusual activities angelic activities, angelic assistance. In other words, you're going to begin to see what you pray today, it's going to manifest tomorrow. What usually used to take, you know, months and years to happen or to manifest, it's going to take days and weeks. We're coming into that time. Hear me prophetically. I'm telling you, hear me. This is the time of seeing the manifestation of what has been spoken, what God has spoken over the last decade that you have experienced. All of that was not in vain. 
All of the persecu persecution was not in vain. All of the hits, all of the lies, all of the slander, all the rejection, all of the misunderstandings, all of the mishaps was not in vain. And some of you, you felt like hope deferred, make the heart sick. But I come to declare unto you that God is restoring hope. He is bringing you peace. He is bringing you joy in this season in the Holy Spirit. Get ready to experience one of the greatest times of your life. Get ready to experience a time of blessings. And to be blessed, it means to be happy. You're about to be happy. You're about to experience joy. You're about to be overjoyed. You're about to experience the blessings of the Lord that make you rich and adds no sorrow. Get ready for this is the time where you have put your hand to the plow, but you did not look back. And the Spirit of the Lord would say unto you that this is a time and decade in year 2020 where I'm expanding your coast. I'm expanding your borders. Do you want to know what God is saying right now? Then get on over to 365prophetic.com. It's an online prophetic hub where voices, both emerging voices and seasoned voices from both the U.S. and around the world, they've collected, they've come together here to share with you what the Lord is saying. Sure, there's going to be edification. There's going to be words that encourage you. There's going to be teaching articles about the prophetic. There's going to be dreams and visions. All of that, we love it. But more than that, we're going to offer you what God is saying right now about nations, about cities, about governments, about presidents, about the entertainment industry, about the seven mountains. It's important that we press in to hear voices of prophecy, prophets that maybe we've never heard from before. They're legitimate. They're out there. We need to expose ourselves to the full breadth of what the prophetic has to offer. At 365prophetic.com, we're all prophetic all day, all the time. That's all you're going to find there. If that's what you're looking for, join us at this prophetic hub, this global online digital prophetic hub. Learn, grow with us and submit your words of prophecy as well. We want to hear from you. 365prophetic.com. I'm increasing you on every side. Look and get ready for I am expanding you and I'm enlarging you even like a woman who is pregnant, who are in her due season. Get ready for the water is about to break and you're about to behold one of the greatest things that you've been waiting for. The pain and the persecution. Yes, it has intensified, but get ready for you're about to behold what you've been carrying. You're about to see what you've been speaking. You're about to come into the manifestation of what has been decreed over your life. And so you have to come into agreement with it. You have to believe what God has spoken. The enemy is after your belief system. The enemy does not want you to believe what God is about to do. And so this season is a time where you're going to move in prosperity like never before. Not only financial prosperity or financial breakthrough, but your soul will prosper. There will be a healing that is released in your soul. You're going to begin to see your mind, will, and emotions will be aligned to God's will and his purpose for your life, his decrees. What did God say? And the enemy will come to challenge you. Did God really say that? Be very careful of what has been spoken or declared over you because you have false prophets and false teachers that have gone out in the world. And so you have to be very discerning in this season. And that's why the gift of discerning of spirit is very important and crucial in this new year and decade because it's going to be very critical of how you hear and how you receive words that are coming. And so the words that are coming, they have to bear witness and confirm what God already said. Now, I will say this, not, not every prophecy or every prophetic word is confirmation because we have to understand we have the human spirit. And sometimes we have our own ideas and what we want and we desire to be and to become. But if it has not been confirmed in the mouth of two or three witness, then it has to be Verify. So if it's in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. God only bring government and he only bring 
things to pass when it is established out of the mouth of two or three witnesses and it has to be verified. And so God is really allowing us to decipher the voices and, and he's going to remove the noise in the static that is there. And so what I'm saying is there is three voices that we have to make sure we are able to discern and know. Number one, the, the voice of God, God's voice. Number two, the human spirit, because we have our own spirit. You know, some people say in my spirit and I heard this in my spirit. And then you have number three. We have the voice of the enemy, the voice of the adversary. We have the voice of the devil. And so we have to distinguish which voice is speaking. We need to know the voice of God. And then our spirit has to line up to the word of God, his decrees. As you are moving into this new decade and this new season, it will be the Lord's decree. Start decreeing the word of the Lord over your life. Don't stop praying. Don't stop decreeing. Don't stop forgiving. And don't stop praying. Don't stop fasting. These are going to be very key. Again, don't stop praying. Don't stop decreeing. Don't stop prophesying. Don't stop forgiving. And don't stop fasting. These are five keys that will help you to align yourself to see your prophecy, to see your dream come to pass. The enemy wants to wear out the saints. Also in the book of Daniel, it talks about where the enemy comes to wear out the saints and he wants to change times and seasons. He will try to cause you to be off or you basically to be not synchronized to God's will and his purpose. And so if he can get you a day late, then he has the upper advantage. He has the upper hand. And so this is a season, hear me, of God is releasing his word. You're about to come into the manifestation of everything that's been done and that has been spoken in you. So you're you're going to be your prophecy. You're going to fulfill your prophecy. You're going to become the word of the Lord that has been spoken over you. What God has spoken, it will come to pass. Yes, there will be warfare. Yes, there will be resistance. Yes, there will be uh, rejection. Yes, there will be misunderstandings. That will come as a believer. But God didn't make us chocolate soldiers to melt under pressure. But what God is basically saying in this season, you will have the strength, the supernatural strength, the ability, the power, and the agility, and the wisdom of God, and the revelation and the knowledge of God, and the spirit of truth to fulfill the word of the Lord for this year and this decade. I'm telling you, God is reversing the curse. He is breaking the curse. You are the bloodline curse breaker. It stops with you. Get ready. You are on your way of fulfilling everything that God has spoken. And listen, you're going to live to experience it. You're going to live to enjoy it. Hear the word of the Lord. 2020 will be the year of the Lord's decree. What is spoken out of the mouth, what you have been seeing and sensing and discerning and waiting for for the last decade. Now is the time, the Lord said, now is the season of fulfillment, of full fulfillment, full manifestation. You are in your due season. And so you have to make sure you're ready. Well, what are you saying, prophet? What I'm saying is that what you've been praying for, if you've been praying for a harvest of souls, if you've been praying for a, you know, business ideas and concepts, if you've been praying for nations and you've been waiting on God to open the door and you've been waiting on God to give you the opportunity, hear me and hear me very clearly. The Lord says the opposition is your opportunity. If you've been experiencing a lot of hits and persecution and warfare and so forth and portrayal and misunderstanding, it's only an indication that God is up to something. If the warfare has intensified, then you're about to win the battle. There is victorious power that is coming because why? The enemy is already a defeated foe. He is already defeated. And so God is saying in this season, get ready to experience the manifestation of what has been spoken. The Lord began to speak to me even out of the book of Numbers, out of the book of Numbers, uh, chapter 13, verse 33. And it's something that says something like this, where the people begin to see themselves 
in the eyes of the giants, they saw themselves or they perceived themselves as grasshoppers. And so they begin to have the mindset of the giants in the land. And so what God is basically saying in this season, I'm changing. And in this new year, 2020, it's not just about vision. We, we were in the, the decade of a yen, the, the decade to see, the decade of sight to discern, to perceive. We were in that decade. And so now we're in the decade of the beginning of the decade and we're in a new year and time and era of the mouth. So what you see, you're about to experience. What you decree, you're about to receive. And so they saw themselves in the eyes. They literally saw themselves as the giants saw them. But actually, they were not grasshoppers, but they saw themselves as grasshoppers in the eyes of giants. So God is changing our perception. He is changing your lens. How to fulfill prophecy, how to fulfill this word, how to align yourself this new year and decade with what God has spoken, what God's decree over your life. It is all about your decision. It's all about your perception, how you see yourself. You have to see from the lens and from the view of heaven. You have to see from the Father's view, His paradigm concerning you. Doesn't matter what anyone else says. Doesn't matter what someone has spoken. Does it line up to the Lord's will and word and decree over your life? And so when you decide on something, then it will be. Your decrees are only will manifest and come to pass when it is the Lord's will for your life. That's why the Bible says, pray thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so if you want heavenly support and reinforcement and, and, and backing and you need angelic assistance, make sure it is the Lord's will word for your life. My will for the will of the Lord for my life is different from yours, but we all have to move in that same process of obeying the word of God, being in right standing with God, make sure, cause listen, we can't make a prophecy happen, but what we can do is it's only just believing or to believe the word. And then it's faith that accelerates it. And when you decree and pray and fast and wait on God, angels are dispatched and they will bring you into what God has for you very quickly. I'm telling you, this is the season, hear me, that you're going to begin to see many things transpire. Do not be concerned about gross darkness that comes the earth, that covers the earth or that is coming. Listen, because God says that there is an Isaiah 60, it is an Isaiah mandate, you know, arise and shine. For your light has come and the glory of the Lord shall be risen upon you. We're going to see the glory of the Lord like never before on your ministry, on your marriages, on your businesses, on your churches, on your whole cities, regions and territories. We're going to see an awakening in the glory of God like we have never known before. And we have to get back to prayer. Prayer becomes the delivery room to release heaven on earth. Our decrees begin to release the justice and the verdict and the edict of the Lord from his throne room, from the courts of heaven. And it has to be released. It has to be spoken. It has to be announced. So we have to see from the lens and the perspective of the Father in order for, for it to be manifested in the earth. Listen, we're going to begin to see these birthing pains where the earth is moaning and groaning for the sons of God. Who are the sons of God? You. You. The trees, the skies, the waters is in it is, is in travail. We're seeing a shaking that is taking place. And so the Lord is shaking everything that can be shaken. We're going to begin to see there's this unshakable kingdom. We're going to begin to see this perpetual, unstoppable glory being released upon the distinct, upon those who are different. You are different. You were made differently. You were not a clone or a copy. You were you were made in his image and after his likeness. You were to exemplify and to display his glory in the earth. You are to be models of glory. You are to be ones that, uh, that people, the world will begin to say, who are they? These are the men that turn the worlds upside down. Get ready to turn your city, your region, your territory upside down. Get ready to see stadiums 
field. I see stadiums, stadiums, stadiums. We're going to see college stadiums and we're going to see professional stadiums. We're going to see prophetic words of stadiums and crusades and mass worship and glory and healing and deliverance and salvation. We're going to begin to see there is a cry that is being released in the earth today. We're going to begin to see changes in the government. We're going to begin to see changes even in the, the highest court. We're going to see a woman be raised up in the highest court. To It's going to be someone that will carry the values, the conservative values, but the biblical values. It's not about a political agenda or a political uh, party. It's not about left or right. It doesn't mean it's not about that. It's about the government of God. It is about the justice of the Lord. It's about the Lord's decree. It's going to be the Lord's decree. It's going to be the decade and the time, 2020. We're going to begin to see our paradigms change as we see ourselves, but as we see God, as we know him as father, as Abba. And I'm telling you, get ready. This is a season of 2 Chronicles 2020. This is the season of Isaiah 60. It's going to be the time of the glory being risen upon us in many ways. You're going to hear about glory like never before. You're going to begin to see mass evangelism like never before where people will give their lives to the Lord in rapid speed. I'm telling you, we're going to begin to see mantles is what I hear the Lord say. Mantles, mantles, mantles. Mantles are falling, but mantles are also being caught as the mantles from great generals and leaders of our time. Uh, they're going to be a transfer of the anointing, the transfer of the presence of God, a transfer of the mantle. It's going to be a passing of the baton, a passing, and, and it's going to become uh, such visible. Why? Is it because those who've been like David on the backside will now be able to come into the, the house and they will be recognized. You've been overlooked. You've been... Uh, ostracized and rejected and you've been misunderstood and you have been waiting your time and your turn and you're not waiting for a platform but it's going to be the Lord is going to be exposed upon you his light and his glory is going to be upon you in a new way so get ready get ready 2020 is what I heard the Lord say if you receive and if you believe his prophets it's going to be you coming into agreement with his prophetic word over your life and I'm telling you, you will live to experience and to enjoy. And here's the thing. It's not just for you. It's about the next generation. What God is about to do for many of you, it's going to be about the next generation generation. He's going to bless you with finances, not to make you rich, but to build and to establish his purpose and to advance his kingdom. And so the ecclesia will be known in the earth. We will be that governing. We'll be the gate in the earth. We will be the gatekeepers. We will be the glory carriers. We will be the conduits and the models of glory. We will be ones that will carry the template, the heavenly blueprint, the heavenly model, and we will bring heaven to earth in every sphere that the kingdom of our Lord will become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. So we will begin to see the kingdoms become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. It's already his, but God needs you. He needs you. And so we're going to begin to see one of the greatest record-breaking times. Like I've, I haven't experienced it personally, but I'm seeing it prophetically that God is saying 2020 will be the year and the decade and a new era of new things coming forth, new voices emerging. It's going to be the new era, a new time, a time of difference, a time of distinction, a time of separation, a time where we're going to see a divide, but we're going to be, it's going to be the Lord's bringing the sword to divide and it's going to make a distinction of who is his and who is not. Get ready. This is the time where the Lord is doing something great and mighty in the earth. So hear me. It is your due diligence and your duty to align to the will of the word of God over your life. This is not the time to just speak anything and expect God to do it. God's not moving on your words. You have to move on his word and obey his word. Angels don't respond to your words, your opinions, and your thoughts. He, they respond and they act because they belong to God. They are ones that help fulfill and carry out what God desires to carry out for the saints. And so he, God uses angels uh, and he connects them to us, those who inherit the kingdom, the Bible says. And so it is going to be what you speak. Hear me. 
positive or negative. What you speak, you will receive. What you speak, because why? The Bible says death and life is in the power of your tongue. It's in your tongue. So you ain't going to have to blame nobody. It's going to be what you speak in your mouth in this season and in this decade. It's going to be what you will receive. So be very careful. Some things you're just going to have to be silent on. Don't allow the enemy to cause bitterness or uh, squalling to take place or disagreements to take place. Yes, things happen. You can disagree without dishonoring or being disrespectful. So some things God would basically say in this yet decade, in this time, basically be silent. Some things you don't have to speak about. Some things you don't have to speak on. Don't allow the enemy to bring you into gossip, slander, uh, accusation. Don't conspire with the enemy. This is not the time to do that. This is the time where God is going to do some miraculous things, supernatural things. And I'm telling you, it's going to provoke people to jealousy. It's not going to have them be jealous of you. It's going to be what God has done and is doing because of his decree over your life. That things is going to cause people to say, wait a minute, they're going to pay attention to you because favor and glory is on you. They want to know, I want that. I want to experience that. How can I receive that for myself? Get ready. This is a time of the Lord's decree. A decree is an official statement from a higher court or someone or something in authority or in power. It's, it's, it's a, an official edict. It's just like when a king, you know, they would use like a signet and they would use a stamp as a way with their, with the king's emblem on it, representing that kingdom. And so hear me, it's going to be the Lord's edict. It's going to be the Lord's decree. It's going to be what is spoken, what is established. So again, believe his prophets. Go back to those prophecies. Listen to them. Go back to those journals and read them again. Make sure they timestamp because God is about to fulfill those things. He's going to fulfill many of you in a personal matter. He's going to heal many of you from diseases and some things that has been uh, generational. He's breaking the curse right now. I hear the Lord saying in this new season, 2020, new year and new decade, it's going to be a time of surprises. It's going to be a time of breakthrough. Things is just going to break through, but you have to be ready. There is an urgency there is an urgency that is being released right now. You have to hear and hear clearly so that God is even, I hear him saying, I am aligning as well. I am aligning and realigning. There is some alignments that were God, but then the enemy came in and broke those alignments up and had you align with people that were not destined to walk with you or to go with you and you to go with them. So God is reestablishing and he is realigning and aligning. Some people need the right alignment to accelerate them to the next place. It's just like a car. If your will or steering alignment is off, it will throw everything off. And ultimately, if you don't get it fixed or you don't get it serviced by a mechanic, you can lose your tires. You can actually break down. And so the Lord is tightening up some of our alignments so that those who will cover us, those who will be accountable to, we will begin to see things manifest and God's will come to pass in our lives because of our alignments and because of those things. Hear me. This is a season that God is about to use you for his glory like never before, I'm telling you. So I wanted to share what I believe that the Lord is doing in 2020. It is a time where you will see what you speak. You will see what you pray. You will see what you decree. You will see what you have spoken. Again, if you decide on it, whatever you decree, thou shalt decree, thou shalt decide it shall be established. In other words, it will become legal because we are king priests. Those who are believers, we are king priests. We have that legislative, we have that governmental authority through the Holy Spirit, and we have the whole institution called the kingdom of God backing us. And we have an army, which is the angelic host, who are assigned by the commander in chief, which is the father, who sends them to establish and to carry out the word of the Lord, his decrees in your life. You want to see manifestation? You want to see prophecies come to pass? You want to see your dreams come to pass? Align with them, but also write them down. 
also be do have have a persistent and a term and a determination and also a diligence to fulfill it. You have to walk out your prophecy. You have to come into agreement with your prophecy. Prophecy is just not going to happen. You have to align yourself. And not only that, but not only align yourself, but apply yourself. Hear me. You have to apply yourself. Prophecy is mainly conditional. So you're going to have to do something with your prophecy. You are the one that will fulfill your prophecy. You'll be the one that will make it happen. Well, you say, well, I don't have all the money. And the Lord said, I'll be a multimillionaire. Well, he knows. That's why that he will cause you to be frustrated in a place of poverty. He will cause you to be frustrated in a place of desolation. He will call you to be frustrated around people that have money or have wealth or are blessed so that he can awaken the, 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 the kingdom financer on the inside of you to, to rise. He will cause you to be wholly frustrated and discontented until you do something. God's not going to allow it or make things happen for you. You got to align with Father and He will together. You have to partner with your prophetic word. You have to partner with the dream of God that He put in your heart. Whether people believe or support you or not, you have to believe that God has said it. Again, it's going to be a season and a time, a new era, 2020 of the Lord's decree. It's going to come to pass. It will happen. So let me just pray. Father, right now, I thank you for these people. I thank you for this new year, this new start, this new beginning this new decade that you have brought us into. Father, we repent of anything that we have done or said unknowing or knowing that is against your will, that is against your purpose that has hindered our progress, that has hindered our breakthrough. Father, we repent. And any person that we may have offended or hurt, any unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment that's in our heart, Father, we ask you to identify those individuals so that we'll go to them, we'll lay our gifts at the altar, we'll go to them and be reconciled with our brother or our sister. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for great grace upon your people that this year, 2020, will be one of the greatest, will be the start of an accelerated glory year and time and beginning and decade. Father, right now, I pray that as we know that we are established in you because of our relationship, that let us believe your prophets because you do and you still use prophets today. They don't replace the Holy Spirit, but they come to speak in seasons and times of what you're doing. So, Father, we thank you because you said in Amos 3, 7, for surely the sovereign God would do nothing unless he revealed his plan to his servants, the prophets. So reveal your plan for our lives. Reveal your will for our lives. Make it clear. Make it known. The dreams, the vision, the burdens. Clear it up, Father, so that we will come into alignment that we will come into agreement, that we will believe no matter what, and we will walk it out. We will pursue it. We will investigate. We will do research and development. We will do all that we can, regardless of money, support, or anything. We will just align ourselves to your word, your will, and your decree, which is your official edict, your decision concerning us. As we align to that, Father, accelerate, open the heavens because you said 2020 will be the year of open heaven. It will be the year of the mouth, a year of things that will come to manifestation because of what has been spoken. In Jesus' name, bless them. Amen and amen. Well, be encouraged. I thank God for you. Happy New Year. Again, this is Dr. Hakeem Collins. I am so excited about your new season, your new day, and I pray that you will be your personal prophecy and God will accelerate and his glory and prosperity and favor will be upon you and everything you touch because there will be anointing of multiplication and you will finish what you start in this new year, 2020, this new decade of the mouth, the Lord's decree. Be blessed in Jesus name. Well, you know, I hope you enjoyed that prophetic message. Part of the reason we put together this series is because we want you to press into prophetic life with us. And in order to live a prophetic life, you've got to hear God's voice and know God's will. And so you've just received revelation, 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 insights, prayers. Be a good steward. You know, the Bible says, be careful how you listen for the one who hears more will be given and the one who doesn't 
it will be taken away. But I decree over your life that this seed, these prophetic seeds, has fallen on good ground. And I decree and declare that you will walk in the prophetic will of the Lord for your life. I'm Jennifer LeClaire signing off. Wait until you see what we've got in store for you next. We live in a digital era in which we can have friends all over the globe. Yet true, deep, personal connections are hard to come by in a busy world. And finding a church that offers prophetic revelation and practical keys to overcome the enemy's plans for your life can be difficult in a seeker-friendly church world. Enter ahop.online, an outreach of Awakening House of Prayer. We're a global community of believers passionately pursuing God's presence. We're a prophetic church where the Holy Spirit moves. We empower you to live a supernatural breakthrough lifestyle. Get connected and make true connections in the Awakening House of Prayer global family. If you can't come to our church in Florida, come to our church online. Hey guys, Jennifer LeClaire here. I'm coming to you with an exciting opportunity to partner with me as I advance the kingdom of God around the world. As many of you know, I am doing a daily prayer call that's reaching millions of people, millions and millions of people a year, but I'm also planting houses of prayers, prayer hubs, apostolic centers, and of course, raising up prophets and prophetic people. But I'm also sowing, sowing, sowing. Jennifer LeClaire Ministries sows back into at least 15 other ministries that are touching the sex trafficking industry. They're touching digging wells in Africa. They're helping uh, drug addicts rehabilitate and so, so much more. I need your partnership. When you partner with Jennifer LeClaire Ministries, whether you're in Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, here in the US, wherever you are in the world, you are helping to open a door for me to come to your nation. You are helping feed hungry people. You are helping the gospel be preached. You are helping media projects flow forth. You are helping, you are sowing, and you will reap a harvest. Listen, you cannot outgive God. I can't do what I do without faithful supporters like you. You know, Billy Graham used to say that the janitor who cleaned the bathrooms would receive the same reward as he did for standing on a platform and preaching the gospel. When you sow into our ministry, you receive a reward. I want to invite you to become an official partner. You'll receive a monthly partner resource, special seating at my events, and so much more. The most important thing is you're being partakers of advancing the kingdom of God, especially if you're a prophetic person, if you're mission-minded, if you're apostolically focused, support, So pray. Amen. God is good and he's doing so much more than any one of us can do alone, but together we can do a lot. We can make an impact. We can have influence on a lost and dying world. It's time. It's time to rise up and go further. I'm asking you become a partner today.